So we're going to take a look at the Orasma app. Uh, this is going to be for doing your augmented reality, getting kids to see uh, things, videos pop up when they scan an image. So first of all, we find the Orasma app. Now it opens up straight to your video camera and it's searching for an Orasma. You need to click on the, the um, triangle down the bottom. That'll open your options thing. So these are the auras, these are the videos that are going to come to life. Uh, you need to click on the plus icon to create a new one. And it will load a library of pre-existing things, but you're going to link it to something else. So you can either select a video, a new video. So by clicking the plus icon in the top right, you can go to your camera so you can film something live. So it could be, here's the students doing a piece of work, whatever it might be. Or you could have a video that you've already made. Um, I'm just going to go straight to one I've already made. And this is the video here. So this is what you're going to have. This is what's going to come to life when you when you click on your image. Then you need to find your trigger image. So this is the poster. This is the uh, newsletter. Whatever it might be that you're going to have that brings it to life. So I'm just going to use this. For instance. Here. Now you see down the bottom there's a red, orange and green bar. It needs to be on green, it needs to have enough information for it to be unique. Click the purple take picture button and then that's what it will look like. So you can position where your video is going to go by pinching and squeezing so that it, that's where it will come to life on the student's screen when they scan the image and then click next. So that's just going to save that video. Once that's loaded, you then just need to think about naming the videos and, and where you might store them. So here we go. So I'm going to just name that. Um, just simply demo purposes and then you can choose whether it's public or it's going to be private for this we're just going to do a private one if you want to do a public one that would go to the school's channel um, and we'll do a separate how-to on how you would link that afterwards so I click on finish it says creating aura and then hopefully you know, we're back into the app now if I scan that image see the video just automatically pops up so straight into the scan you know it's picked up because circles start to appear and it goes straight into that scan and I can see that video automatically play so nice and simple to use